We're cooking with Chef Jeffrey Saad. We started our day off on a crab boat and then stopped off at a crab stand. Now we're off to the Culinary Academy to make some delicious crab dishes. So what we're gonna be doing is my version of cocktail sauce. Oh, that's like the childhood favorite, right? right? Shrimp cocktails, that's it's, I mean, that was when you would splurge. And then what we're also gonna do is my version of wok toss crab. You are my sous chef All right, here. Whatever okay? you need. Let's go ahead and make my cocktail sauce. All right. So the first thing we start with is the shallots. Okay, beautiful. Shallots are delicious. And these look a little softened, it's nice. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the shallots in there, okay. then we cover them in vinegar and lemon juice. Why okay. would, would we wanna do something like that in the first place? It's just kind of taming them into submission. It takes that hot, sharp edge off. Taming them into submission. <laughs> Four to three right now. So how am I gonna use that in a cooking segment again? <laughs> All right, so lemon juice and lemon zest. I feel too many people pass up the zest. Right. So much flavor right there. And it's different flavors, right? The right. oil in the skin is different than the juice. It makes it much Completely more interesting. Completely agree. Red wine vinegar is gonna be your friend up front. All right. Acid is the key to this cocktail sauce. You need it in every form. You need it in a vinegar, and you need it in a lemon, and then you also need the zest. We're gonna let those get a little translucent and broken down a little right. bit, correct? Okay, let's And that's gonna bring the juice out of the shallots. That's gonna be delicious. Right, right. So chili sauce. Normal right. chili sauce that you find at the store. It's gonna add a Jeffrey Sod note to this dish. Yeah, that's that you don't some have to roast chilies flavor. Yeah, I'm telling you. That you don't have to add roasted chilies and so on. So this is my version since it's easier, okay? All of it. All right, add it all. Okay, get all that love on the bottom Absolutely. of that. Absolutely. Us as chefs, if we see that in the bowl, we're like, food cost, oh, food yeah, cost, food sense. cost. And at home, it's just getting all that flavor. Right. All right. All right. Beautiful. Ketchup, my friend. Ketchup. Literally, you need a ketchup. See, I you're love really, the way you're really behind <laughs> right now. <laughs> I love the way you've amped it up. You know, most people would put ketchup and cocktail sauce and be done, but and just that shallots and lemon and vinegar makes a huge difference. All right. Look at this. This is like Tahoe right here of horseradish. Isn't that gorgeous and great? That is brilliant. And this Look. is like adding chilies. I mean, this is spice. This is heat. White pepper. Now, if you only have black pepper at home, it's totally fine. I like the note of the berry of the white pepper in here, which totally is good. Agree. And then a pinch of love, AKA kosher salt. Nice. And then we're gonna add a little bit more horseradish inside here, okay? And then the love, okay? And what I do is when I add my, uh, add my Tabasco. It's great though, you can't beat that, right? Oh, do, you're going. Do a little dance. Wow. About a teaspoon of Tabasco, okay? Again, remember, when the food hits you here, you're doing something good, right? Right, absolutely. We are gonna be washing, you know, using a wok, so I figure why not serve go ahead and wok. serve in a wok. Wow. And my friend, that has chopped cilantro in there, and you know what we did? Talk about this real quick. This is, to me, this is brilliant. You blacken these lemons, and I love that, because the juice actually caramelizes. Imagine squeezing lemon juice through charcoal. That's what this tastes like. You get the natural sweetness, right. the char. Right, You dip it in there, finish with a little fresh cilantro, a little, yeah, go for it, go for it. And guys, conversational piece, easy thing to do. Wow, that is delicious. So what I did with this crab is, 15 minutes, we already boiled it. This is the crab we got out of the water, cleaned it, and what I did is I took the top off and I broke the crab into fours, okay? And this is gonna be a fun one at the table. Put some bibs on, open some beer, have a good time, watch the game, hang out with friends or your loved one, and just make a great simple dish. What I'm starting with is scallions, and then Fresno chilies. We got whole cilantro, garlic, I've got sugar. You need sugar. The sweetness with so much spice. That is so important. It's incredible. A touch of sugar is the balance for everything. Toasted sesame seeds go on top when we're done. Perfect. And then this is a little bit of chili paste. You can find this at the store. Simple. All right, so I got my spoon. I'm ready right. to go. Let's add our oil. And you want a little good amount. Yes, a good amount. You that want smoke it that hot. Is key, right? There you it is. You want that key. That's key. This is fast. This is like literally in just seconds we're gonna rock this dish out here, okay? But that's so, the flavor right there, that, that charring oil. I love right? it. Right? All right, so why don't you grab those chili peppers and help me out here, brother. You got it. Ready? One, Same time, two, one, three. two, three. Go. All right, so we're gonna walk through this real quick. All right, so look at this. Rock and roll on just on this one right here. That's great. Instant color, but they still keep their shape. That's right, what I love. exactly. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add chili paste. Chili paste is good. And then we're gonna add something called my friend here, sake. Okay? Nice. Sake is cool. Watch out here, Jeffrey. We're gonna get a little Instead love Instead of the stock, that's like the sauce. All right, so now what we've done is we've taken the sake and we're gonna cook that down in just seconds. It's gonna, be, it's gonna add to the sugar levels and everything else. Speaking of sugar, right. and you get the flavor of that toasted rice in there with the sake that I love. Love it. Okay, so now I add a little bit of sugar, right? I'm gonna add a squeeze of lemon juice, and this is just a simple, simple sauce. I'm gonna add just a drop of water, okay? I'm gonna throw my whole crab head in there. That's like making a quick stock, right? I mean, you yep. get the flavor of the crab in the sauce. You're 
just heating up the crab. That's all you're doing. This That's is, why you pre-cook it. Right, exactly. Bring this guy over. Beautiful. Help me out, brother. I love the way it kind of, all the sauce kind of just coats the side of the shell. Comes together. That and looks you beautiful. have made my version of wok toss crab in just seconds. Wow. Take the cilantro here, baby. Beautiful. Put this in between. You're just gonna let the sauce kind of wilt it in there. Right. And take this hot crab top. Guys, use what you cook <laughs> in. Look at this. Hot, beautiful sauce. Wow. Right over amazing. the top. I love the nuttiness, the seeds give it that's right. a perfect finish. I mean, that in, in like five minutes, that looks like a dish that would be like at some high-end Chinese restaurant that took days. It's like, it took you five minutes. We've got cocktail sauce, we got wok toss crabs. And coming up next, Chef Jeffrey Sada is gonna make crispy fried black rice cakes with crab on top. We are on a crab adventure with author and chef Jeffrey Saad. Earlier we went on a boat tour and now we're cooking up some tasty crab dishes. The idea of crab cake almost is that you're hiding the crab, right? This was just pulled out of the bay. It's way too beautiful right. to hide. So it's gonna be perched on top, showing itself. Check me out, perched. I just came out of the water. Five to three. There we go. <laughs> but you like fried rice? I love fried rice. And that's the beauty of these. You're taking this black rice, which is high in gluten, so the, the starch converts to sugar uh -huh. and makes it stick together. This is just cooked in water. Go ahead and put a little oil on your hand and okay. form a patty with so this. Let me make a little patty with this. Yeah, part. so what we're gonna do, what happens with this is as the, the rice heats up, it literally caramelizes the natural sugars like on the that. outside, so it's chewy and kind of crispy and sticks to your teeth. You got sour cream at home? Yes, I do. That's it, just sour cream. And you can use non-fat if you guys want at home too. Absolutely. Can you, you even use yogurt for this if you want You to? totally could use yogurt. Yeah. And then back off on the lime juice a little bit because you already got the tartness. Right, that's cool. A touch of milk, all we're trying to accomplish with this milk is to thin it out and turn it into a sauce. Right. The touch of sugar to balance out the tartness of tartness. the lime. All right, you want to throw that uh, Serrano chili in there? You're just going to put raw chili just rocking out in there, huh? Yep. I like that. And if you want to put a little, like, like you do with your shallots, if you put a little bit of lime and salt in there first, it'll pull, uh -huh. it'll extract the chili juices out. But we're going to make it quick, so we're going to throw it in there. Again, just a touch of a uh, rough chopped cilantro. Uh -huh. You could also put this in a, a food processor and turn it into almost like a green pesto sauce, which is beautiful I as well. That. That's good. But we're going rustic on this one. Feel that crisp. That's and you smell about. that toasted rice. I like that. Yeah. It's almost like Rice Krispies taken to a whole new level. Exactly. And what's, it's kind of like an arancini, like a risotto ball. Ooh, crispy on the it. outside and creamy on the inside, so you're getting another layer of texture. Chef, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to help you. Uh, Absolutely. Help you all right. So all we're going to do now is we're going to throw a little bit of avocado and go okay. ahead and drop some of that crab on there as well. You want just on top of it? Yep, right on top. Just kind of let it fall where it may. You're taking tapas to an Asian kind of realm right here. I'm exactly. This, I don't know if I'm stuck in Mexico or Thailand with this dish, but it's gonna have be all those flavors. Nice. All right, now we're gonna put the sauce on. So again, crab cake, but more like a fried rice inside out crab cake. Uh -huh. Spoon. Spoon a little of that on there. Are you gonna let me do it? Please, <laughs> I trust your saucing abilities. A little tomato, I just uh, put a little salt in there so the juice of the tomato would come out as well. That's a great way to make out of season tomatoes really delicious, a touch of salt. Take a bite. I time insist time. you're first. All right, let me take a little bite here. Guys. Listen to the crunch as you cut through the cab crake. See that? We had such a blast today, right? It was unbelievable. If you love the recipes that Jeffrey and I made today, you can check us out on LiveWellNetwork.com. Follow us on Twitter, but you can always check me out on Facebook. Until next time, guys. We'll see you soon.